Exactly right now okay. in Portland, but later tonight it's going to hit, I okay. promise, and it could be heavy at times, so we're going to have to watch out for that. But in the meantime, get out and enjoy the fall beauty. I guess Look it's a little dark this. for that now. now where, but, where is this from? Okay, so this is this is the one that this is one I took actually you over the weekend. I went up to Multnomah Malls, um, Multnomah Malls <laughs> Falls. Oh gosh, <laughs> far from a mall. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so they're behind there. You can do some shopping in between the limbs. Um, <laughs> no, so back there off the trail there is just a really pretty shot that I got. But then you know that pales in comparison compared to some of these pictures that uh, just were sent in by Chris Marks. Take a look at this gorgeous uh, tree here, the leaves bright red. Here's another beautiful one that he sent in. Just love getting these fall photos. Send them to us, report it at coin.com. Thanks, Chris, for sending in those gorgeous. One more last shot I would love to share with you. And you can see uh, the clouds kind of blanketing Mount Hood. You can see the leaves changing in the foreground. Just beautiful stuff. Now the rain's moving in tonight and the winds are going to be blowing so a lot of those leaves are probably going to take a tumble overnight tonight. Wet and breezy, half an inch, maybe even up to three quarters of an inch for parts of the Willamette Valley uh, through the overnight hours tonight. Fewer showers for tomorrow will be off to a wet start. In fact, a lot of it winding down in the morning, but the roads will be very wet so you'll want to allow for extra time for that tomorrow morning. And then once we get through early tomorrow, we start to dry out and it looks like we'll stay mainly dry through Wednesday. Shower chances stay very slim Wednesday and then outside of one more system to get through Thursday the weekend could actually be dry for us and we may even get some sunshine going so it's looking like it could be a much nicer weekend than this past weekend which I thought wasn't bad at all 57 degrees out there right now south winds at 10 winds will pick up overnight tonight temperatures stay steady in the 50s we won't get back down to the 40s it was very chilly for the weekend but we won't see that tonight spotty light rain for now Heavier rain kind of setting in by midnight. Uh, winds out of the south at 10, sometimes up near 20 miles an hour. So it will, be get, it will get fairly breezy for us. The strongest winds that will be along the coast or gusts there may be up near 40 miles an hour through the overnight. You can see some of the rain trying to push our way, but most of it is still to our west. Uh, showers continue uh, from Astoria back down towards Lincoln City and Tillamook. And we'll continue with the wet weather one to perhaps even up to two inches for coastal areas through the overnight hours. Uh, 10 p.m. steady rain as we head towards midnight and after uh, the rain could pick up in intensity, especially along the coast range. Cascades getting in on some of the action. Uh, the winds will keep that snow level pretty far up there, though. 8,000 feet, so well above pass level. Uh, tomorrow morning, still some shower activity going on. A lot of it, though, confined to the higher terrain, Cascades, and back toward the coast range. We may have to get through another few showers early tomorrow. As we go through the day, showers start to wind down. More cloud cover than anything else, but we will see some ponding on the roads from all the rain overnight. Now, this is what we're watching as we head into the weekend. Out in the far in the Pacific, Western Pacific, you have Super Typhoon Nuri here. That's going to be tracking, staying away from land. Thank goodness, it's a Category 5, 180 mile an hour winds as of yesterday. But it could really change the position of the jet stream, and that could particular that could mean for us. This high pressure ridge building in for the Pacific Northwest, keeping us dry and warm. Meanwhile, East Coast could get another dose of Arctic weather. Something we'll keep a close eye on for you as we time out the rest of the week. Upper 50s, though, tomorrow. Showers come to an end right along I 5. Upper 50s, heavy rain tonight. You lingering showers tomorrow. Still some scattered showers out east of the Cascades tomorrow afternoon. The gorge may pick up half an inch of rain, Hood River, that area by tomorrow. And then we dry things out for Wednesday, Thursday rain, Friday clearing out. And look at that weekend. Again, some big changes for us. Low 60s, sunshine, dry for three days in a row. We'll see. It's still Monday, yeah, but it's, there's moment. some hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still Monday, yeah. We got the old glory behind us, too. It's mm -hmm. all good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh.